Okay, so it is actually Air Ambulance Week this week. Air Ambulance Week is from the 9th to the 15th of September. And in this little short video, I just thought, you know, I'd look back on a bit of the video I've done about the Air Ambulance in the past and just give you a little bit more updates on about them because um, it's a sort of critical care thing that um, is really useful for people like myself who are out in the middle of nowhere and you know basically let's face it an ambulance can't get across a field to um, so the air ambulance actually isn't funded by government it's it's entirely funded by donations so this is a reason why you know there needs to be an effort to raise funds for them really um, so I'm just going to sort of tell you a little bit about it but before you do I do that I'll just sort of show you a couple of clips first of all there's um, a clip of when I raised some money for the air ambulance I think we ended up with a total of about seven thousand pounds this was during lockdown I, I shaved all my hair off and I grew a horrible beard um, so I'm going to show you that and then the second clip is actually of a, a chap who drove around uh, the county in a county to raise money for the air ambulance so here's two clips have a look at this it. quite enjoyable okay, so it's kickoff time harry have you got anything to say what are you doing <laughs> are you giving it a brush what about a comb hmm? oh it's all colory oh ow that's a bit manky actually you got a lime right in the middle of your hair. Oh my god, <laughs> I just look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You've got all I'm saying is yellow paint underneath the hair. Yeah. What? Right. Wow. Wow. Funky farmer! Yay! Yay! Right, let's do a wrap. Let's do a 360. Oh. Yeah. Wow, there we go. <laughs> you do look a lot younger. What it is, is a chap called Jim Hannis, I think I've pronounced his name right, is driving round Gloucestershire, the county, in his county, in aid of the air ambulance so he's raising money for the air ambulance doing this little journey excellent parking neatly Ooh. so you've got the great western air ambulance county around the county it's wonderful so I'm gonna, at the end i'll ask you about how we, people can donate if they yeah, want yeah, yeah. to but first of all i need to ask you really this crazy idea of driving around the county in a county how did you get come up with that idea then we had <coughs> there was something wrong with the brakes yeah and we took all the back end apart and what have you and um long story shorter it was all in bits on the floor radio gloucestershire was on um, Mark Cummins was on the radio, his Gloucestershire County Quiz, they kept on about, last year they was all about um, how we love our county and things like that. And um, it, it came all came together really, county and loving the county and going yeah. around the county. It, they kept on about county, county, county. At, at the time I was wishing county somewhere else because it was all costing me a fortune <laughs> and all in bits. <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the idea sort of clicked. Yeah. And uh, a wood customer of mine actually uh, suggested we did it for the air ambulance. Yeah, great calls. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. I think for people that work in the countryside, you, you're really glad that something like the air ambulance is in Indeed. existence because, Indeed. I mean, I work on a farm and realistically, if anything happened to me, it's quite a worry because realistically, an ambulance isn't going to get across the field. So there you go. There's a couple of examples of, of uh, fundraising activities for the air ambulance, but there will be, during this week, I'm sure, plenty of people around the county and around the country raising money for the air ambulance. Um, i just going to give you a couple of facts here. On average, an air ambulance can reach someone in urgent need within 16 minutes obviously with an ambulance you've got a lot more uh, ability to get somewhere quickly an air ambulance that is um, air ambulance charities are collectively dispatched over 120 life-saving missions every day and each life-saving mission and this is the critical bit um, by air costs on average four thousand one hundred and ten pounds which is funded entirely by donations um, so some other, let me just turn the page here. I'm sorry, I can't uh, memorize all this stuff, so I'm reading it out to you. Just bear with me, I'm just gonna turn over. <laughs> 
I printed it out so small I can't even actually read it. Look, air ambulances in action, UK air ambulances in air action. action. So, uh, did you know, on average, 107 missions are attended per day? Uh, there are 7,500 car related incidents attended, I presume this is per year. 22,000, 22,500 critical care um, car missions, because they, they actually run a, a fleet of air ambulance cars as well as ambulances. So you'll see that. I'm going to put on the end of this video a little, some clips of. Um, my trip to the air ambulance base because after i did my fundraiser i did actually visit their air ambulance base which was fascinating it was down at um, armsbury um there's two parts of that on my youtube channel you can look that up uh, but here's just some very short bits so i'll put those on at the end of this uh some other facts are there are 7200 road traffic collisions incidents attended um 23000 helicopter missions a year um Twenty and a half thousand adults treated. That's a considerable number of people treated, isn't it? And I, again, I can't emphasise enough. Funded entirely by donations. So, realistically, Air Ambulance Week is now. Um, there are quite a few ways you can support it. You can, for, for starters, you can look on their social media. Follow their social media. Well, I've just dropped the pages. Sorry. Let's face it. You know me, this is genuine, this isn't, I'm not being paid by some slick marketing company to promote the air ambulance. I'm not being paid at all, I must emphasise that. But I'm doing my bit as a farmer to help everyone aware of what's out there. And maybe, maybe me dropping my papers just shows you that money isn't wasted on some flash marketing uh, campaign, which, let's face it, some other, some other charities do spend a lot of money on. Um, so, how can you support the Air Ambulance? Well, for, for starters, so follow them on social media. You know, they've got their own Facebook pages, etc. Got a website, go and have a look on that. Um, maybe you'd like to set up some sort of regular donations. You could do that by direct debit or whatever you'd like to, really. But, uh, but above all, really, I think this is critical, is that whenever you see some events or um, things on for the Air Ambulance, maybe you pop along to it, but also, do you, you know what? Have a go at doing something yourself. As you saw with me, my stupid beard shaving, I did that. I have, I am planning to do something again in the future with my 60th with a shiny Massey Ferguson. But we're, more details of that will come in the future, I'm sure. So stick with me on that. Um, but in the meantime, here is the, uh, some clips from my visit to the air ambulance uh, depot. Enjoy watching this, look up the proper videos on the thing, look up the Air Ambulance website, have a look at what they do because they are a fantastic organisation. And from a farming point of view, I can't emphasise that enough. We need this sort of thing behind us because let's face it, if you have an accident on a farm like this, you know, it's not always um, accessible by uh, normal conventional means. So an Air Ambulance is a massive lifesaver for uh, so many people working in farming, but not just farming, a lot of industries where you can't just get a regular ambulance to. Anyway, stay tuned for more crack on. Hey, I've nipped outside. Look, got a man in orange here. This is Jack. Jack has flown over the farm when we had the heart, making the heart. I'll just clip, put a clip in. Here's the, here's the heart we made uh, back last year out of bales. Yay. Oh, one. Boys, run round the heart. Adam, off you go.
Okay, so here's Jack. Hi, Jack, mate. Oh, yeah, how are you good? doing? Yeah, look at you, you. All dooded up. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, we're never going to miss you, are we? Hey? No, no, really a bit, bit too bright, perhaps. But it's awesome, isn't it? I expect you need that whenever you're anywhere, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, it keeps us nice and safe. That's so, cool. so what are we going to see today then, Jack? Uh, so, what we're going to do is look around uh, the airbase. Um, yeah. We'll look around the aircraft and some of our response cars. Because we're all forever going up and down the, the M5 up to sort of yeah. Gloucestershire and South Gloucestershire and, and down into North East Somerset and areas of Bristol. So, you know, if you look up, we do about five missions on average a day. So, uh, we're up and about. Wow, we're that's pretty a busy. lot, isn't it? The team's already been out several times today. Have they? So. so, how many people would you have on board this? So, we would have um, a specialist paramedic and yeah. a critical care doctor and a pilot. Uh, and then we would have either a trainee doctor or a trainee paramedic or a never qualified member of, uh, qualified member of staff right. right and we're back round here right so we're gonna go I'm gonna go and see Joe so this is part one of the air ambulance crew visit Joe's gonna tell us where we're gonna go for part two well, Rich, it's not just helicopters we have here at the, uh, the airbase. We've got three critical care cars. So your role is, is basically, uh, I think your colleague on the helicopter, Jack, was saying that you decide whether it's worth taking the helicopter or taking the car. So. Would you have the same equipment on this vehicle as you've got in the helicopter? Yeah, so it's one team. So the same team is on the helicopter and the car. And then when the job comes in, we make a decision on whether to go by a helicopter or car. Mm. So no matter whether we arrive in the helicopter or in the car, we carry the exact same kit right. and perform the, ex uh, the exact same interventions. So it's the same level of care um, that you get no matter whether the helicopter arrives or the car. It 